Hey, hi friends. Welcome back to Bahu Automation Lab once again. And uh, let's continue this session related to the API automation. And uh, from today's session, we'll uh, start practice uh, related to the API automation in Eclipse. Okay. So while doing the practical section, guys, watch all this lecture very carefully so that you can understand how we can automate the APIs very like in the simple way. Okay. So don't miss any lecture. Watch all the upcoming sessions very carefully. So as I have already mentioned, ki we are using REST Assured uh, client as uh, to automating like APIs. So first of all, let's understand what is REST Assured. So REST Assured is the Java library used for the testing REST APIs. Okay, and it simplifies the purpose. Uh, it simplifies the process of making like API calls like a gate, post, put, delete, and validating that response. Simple. And uh, why we are using like REST Assured only? So REST Assured. It's easy to use with a Java and TestNG as we are using that framework. TestNG is the latest one, or JUnit is the older one. Okay, so we are using TestNG. So, and it's also support like a JSON and XML response passing. So, we are like learn this how we can pass that JSON and XML response. Like most of the times, JSON response, okay, uh, as uh, lo li I like nowadays, most of the response coming in the JSON format only. So, with upcoming lecture, we'll understand this. So it's and also is useful for the backend API automation testing purpose. Okay, so without the wasting time, we'll starting like uh, start the practical sections related to the API automation. So first step is uh, like uh, to start the automation is creating one Maven project related to the API automation uh, in our Eclipse. So I will just open my Eclipse here and I will create the Maven project. I have already explained lots of time uh, this functionality. Yeah, how to create the Maven project. Okay, so first of all, let's go to the file and uh, create a go to this author and create one Maven project. Okay, here and click on the next. It's totally depend on your network speed, how it will be loaded like group ID and activity ID. So it's loaded here right now. So what we need to do, what we have to choose from is so we have to type here quick start. Okay, it's quick start. Quick start only and uh, start okay and after that let's see uh, the org dot apache quick start only org dot apache quick start so, so this one may one archetype quick start 1.5 this one we have to choose always take a screenshot of this if you require and we have to choose always this one org dot apache dot may one archetypes and may one archive types quick start okay 1.5 Maybe this version may be changed in your Eclipse, but we have to choose this one only activate ID and group ID. Just click on the next. Okay, so group ID we are mentioned like API underscore automation. Okay, and here let's say com dot API say automation. So I need this much of Java package only, so I will remove this one. Just click on the finish. Okay, it will take some time to build your Maven project. Okay, it will show everything is here. It's like loading your uh, progress. It will show here uh, in your console, Eclipse console. Okay, just type yes here, Y. And build success. It should be create a uh, API automation project here, right? So let's change the name. So okay, API underscore automation. Okay, so we have entered the package name, uh, like uh, project name in the package name and the package name in the project name. So you have to do this vice versa. Okay, guys, by mystically we have done that. Let's change the name here. So this is the API automation we have project created here, and this is the com dot API dot automation. This one one default class is created here. I will delete that one. Okay, and in the test also, one default package is created. I'm going to delete that one. So this is my JDK version uh, 21. Okay, now first we have API automation project is created. Uh, and uh, now this is our pom.xml. This is the heart of your uh, Maven project, right? So these are the dependencies added here. Okay, so we need to add the dependency inside this chain uh, chain Jupyter. Okay, so let's how to download so next step is our we have first step we have completed creating the maven project after that the next step is add the below dependencies so first dependency we need to add is io.register okay so how to search that dependency this is the 
while i creating this this is the version latest version like 5.5 5.5.1 and uh, when you are like watching this video it may be changed okay so go to the google and uh, type like maven repository okay and uh, here in this maven repository we have to search for rest assured okay this is the library always take this one huh? not this one is re reallocated so i'll always take this rest assured and check the version is a 5.5.5.1 5, 5, 5 okay so this one only so i will just copy this uh rest assured dependency from here and add it into our form.xml file don't be add here huh? dependency management we have to add this only inside this one change this jupiter's one remove that one add it let's build the project we have rest assured library is now added so next library we need to add is like maven org test ng okay so current version is 7.11.0 while i'm recording this video okay so it may be changed when when you are watching this so search test ng from here take this one and is 7.11.0 this one so i'll just copy this one and paste inside this dependencies tab and after that dependency tab okay so the two dependencies we have added and now last uh, last dependency we need to add is this harmcast dependency okay org dot harmcast okay let's search this one as well okay harmcast okay and let's search it so the current version is 3.0 here yes 3.0 and let's copy this dependency here paste it here okay so we have added all those three dependencies so why we need to add this three only okay so the rest assured is for the uh, automating our uh, api uh, automating your api purpose and this test engine for structure way of our code like uh, adding like in the framework way we have we uh, know why we are using test ng okay we have separate uh, playlist related to the api uh, like test ng videos in our uh, like youtube channel so you can watch that one as well so this is uh, for a structuring way of our code this is the like framework related dependency test ng framework okay we are using that one and this is the hard complete harm cache dependency we are like doing the assertions related to the api uh, api using this dependency only so for now we require this only three de uh, dependencies to uh, like automating basic uh, basic apis okay and uh, do the assertion related to the bpi in the basic way okay so our setup is ready now let's check this is the maven project okay it's showing m here and uh, we are using jdk 21 so now let's in this test package okay not in the main main package in this test package i will creating one class okay simple class i will going to create is like a get request get request so for testing purpose in this class let's create a main method here okay so java main method and inside that as we know we are uh, using uh, rest assured for the automation testing api automation testing purpose so let's create a rest assured dot base url dot base url okay is equal to uh, as we are using get request here okay and uh, for the guest request we have uh, seen we have used ip info get request in uh, postman so same url we can copy uh, from the base for that we, uh, we can go to the bowautomation.com website this website is under maintenance but uh, still we can found this inside this blog api automation testing page and inside in this page we can found this get request for the, our practicing purpose okay this is the get request so i'll just copy this and paste inside this get request so we need required to add the domain label here so i will add this is our base url okay after that let's create our response okay so response uh, let's say response is equal to let's say given okay so as of now there are no like uh, new methods found after uh, adding this dot after this given method and this is the create method be given because it's not available directly to import so what we can do we just copy this import from here and just add this dot star here and let's create this import as a static 
this given is statically available only so that we can create a static import this one and now we can see after this given we can available when okay so we will add when request when dot let's say gate okay and inside this gate we will pass this slash gis okay that's it so this is our response okay so and printing the simple uh, response purpose we can type here like a system dot out dot print alone and inside that let's say response this is the response we are getting like response dot let's say get body response body dot as a string that's it okay so let's understand what is meant by this register show okay what does this mean by re this response given when kate and jason and uh, how what is how we can this printing here like using gate body okay so uh, go to here in our uh, ppt slide and let's understand this one okay so here we can creating the package and class with ip info get request we have created rest assured uh, is equal to this https info dot in okay for this and response dot given when get json system dot out dot print ln this response dot get body as a string now we can see here what is this line number one like uh, this one rest assured base url dot ip info okay so this is mean by this set the base address of the api okay it's still the rest assured that all the request we have sent should be start with the url okay this is the url basically we are setting the url in this our first line which request we are sending simple okay this is the set of base address so it's the address of your api why it's important because it's avoids the repeating the full urls in every request okay if the base url change then only we need to change in that place rest all the things so base url for till here is always same in the any gate request because this is a domain right uh, if anything changes in this url then we can only change here otherwise whatever the rest part is we can change inside this gate or other other methods only we not change anything here so always we not need to change uh, every time uh, entire url we just change this part right so that's the reason we are setting this here okay this is the important example uh, let's say uh, instead of instead of writing https info or slash json we can change we can just use gate to json so that this is the gate json we are added uh, we are and we are getting this entire uh, api request here plus adding this json as a gate method okay now let's understand line number two response is equal to response dot given when gate slash json so this line sends the actual api request looks uh, look at the breakdown so this is the given okay given what what given does here so it's prepares the request configuration okay you can add the header parameters token etc here in we needed using this given method so what is the use of this given method is prepare the request configuration whatever request configuration is required for this uh, particular uh, api it we, we can add and configure it here okay so you can add header parameters token etc in here if needed okay why it's in important because it acts like a setting your request back before you send send it it's simple it's act like setting your request back it's creating the request back before you sending it so here what request we need to add it like what parameters we need to pass token etc headers everything will be added in this uh, given method simple so it's preparing your back before sending the request simple now let's understand when so when indicates now i want to send the request it's separate uh, the setup uh, like given from the execution so when we start when what we need to do like now we want to send the request and whatever the preparations is required like setup after this given which will be added here so why it's important because help the structure of the request in clear way okay help the structure of request here when what we need to do after given and a fan request okay so this is the fan and it's important for the structure and the request on clear way okay now let's understand gate so gate stand for the request endpoint like slash json here what we have mentioned here since we have already defined the base url in uri become here okay we can just uh, pass the uh, slash json here and why it's important like this is a uh, where we are actual api calls happen and the server gives the response okay this uh, 
this api is concatenated with this slash json whatever uh, rest of the apis you mentioned here and actual the api call will get happen uh, inside this gate request okay so th that's the reason this gate method is important okay now let's understand line number three here we have passed like a system dot out dot print response dot gate body as a string inside that what happened now? inside that gate the response body data returned to the server whatever data is uh, when we hit this request whatever response is coming we get written by the server and convert into a readable string format as we define as a string so convert is we can read it and then it will print it on the console so that's it about this uh, the request and base url and everything so this is the very very basic gate request we have prepared here okay now let's run this request and see whether we are able to get the output or not okay so here is the request this is the ip uh, which we are uh, running and this city religion country everything it get printed here and we have successfully uh, automate our simple guest request using this all the methods and print the output in the consoles so it's a very basic way we have understand how to create uh, the like uh, java maven project here okay we have, uh, how to add the dependencies how to create our basic given gate request using rest assured call okay and from the next lecture we'll understand one post request and after that step by step we we'll learn everything about the api automation okay if till time if you have any doubt related to this lecture you can simply comment out me i will give all the answers related to this okay if you like this video and uh, you if you learn something from this video guys don't forget to like share and subscribe to automation lab okay let's continue next chapter till time have a great day bye bye take care